Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Tales of Berseria. We now have our weird wiggy board, our hoverboard, as it were. It's it's very strange, but you know what? It's cool. We have it. It supposedly makes us move slightly quicker. If nothing else, at least it looks cool, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm gonna roll with it. All right, Drago. Oh, cutscene. Cutscene time. I see you. Wouldn't it just fly away? It looks so deadly. And just check out how much malevolence it's putting out. Which means it's not a Therian. Huh. Let's retreat. We've got no reason to pick a fight with something we can't handle. I do. Excuse me? Oh, you're up for it? What are you doing? She's right. Fighting this creature is a good way to end up dead. Well, I think it's a little oh, late now. Uh, sorry. Well, looks like it's go time. Oh boy, howdy. This looks like no. a bad thing. No turning back now. It's Shenlong. It, Long. This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, the training like this doesn't come around every day. Be on your guard. One wrong move and you're done for. I know. That's the fun part. It is the fun part. He's not wrong, you know. I really was hoping that that would, uh... Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> oh boy. Eisen? Somebody heal me! Yeah, this is, uh... Hmm. All divide. Has the damage received by friend and foe in battle. Use again. And the effect. Mysterious potion that restores an ally's BG by two while within battle. Interesting. Well, we had some interesting things there. Eisen, buddy. Oh my god, he actually did something. Yeah, keep going. Oh my gosh, he just dies instantly. He's just garbage. What? Eisen, buddy, what? What is your deal? I mean, I, I realize, like, oh, oh god. Yeah. Oh boy. Alright, what I actually need right now is Aizen to, well, for one, stop just being absolutely just the worst. But I need him, I want to be able to tag out. And I don't seem to be able to. Okay. Yeah. This one definitely puts up a better fight than your average demon. Is there any hope of actually defeating this thing? Uh, Zavid's gonna show up, I think. Whoa. Whatever it takes. That's my way. What does he have? A friendship bracelet on? Zavid. He just punched him and then punched him again. Yeah. I see you're out for blood, as usual. You knew, didn't you, Isaac? Of course he did. I don't know what he knew, though. It's probably your girl. Out of my way. Or his girl? What? Are you protecting the dragon? Now, why is the dragon not eating him? Huh? Back off, or I'll make you back off. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's leaving. 
I'm confused. Got away. <sighs> that hurts, babe. But here we hadn't seen each other in so long. Huh. Hold it. Is that dragon someone you knew? Thought you knew. You, she's not a dragon. I don't call her a dragon. Oh, okay. It's weird. I'm so, so confused. It seems old check out my pecs and the uh. dragon have some kind of close ties. Did I hear you right? We're talking about a dragon here. I know what I said. But how could that be? When Malakim are tainted by malevolence, a dragon is what ultimately results. Oh. So you're saying that dragon was a Moloch Zavid once now? She must be who he was praying for back in town. Yeah, most likely. But do Malakim put out malevolence like humans do? No, not by themselves they don't. But if one remains in contact with humans or demons who do, it will eventually taint her, and she will become a dragon. Huh. What about you, kiddo? You feel anything weird after you got thrown into the Earth Pulse at the Empyrean's throne? I did, yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. The air there was thick with malevolence being sent on its way to Enominat. If I'd stayed there, I might be a dragon too. Cool. Let's go. Is having a vessel not enough to prevent a Moloch from transforming? A vessel can reduce the effect, but not eliminate it. Huh. By stripping their Molochim of consciousness, the Abbey Exorcists seem to be able to inhibit the transformation. But nothing in this world is guaranteed. Can a dragon ever be changed back into a Moloch? Nope. Just like with demons, there's no going back. Do they still hold on to some part of who they were? You saw that dragon. What do you think? Maybe? Well, that's... But Zavid still won't kill it. Must be his creed at work. Aizen, listen. Whatever business you and Zavid have with that dragon, I don't care. Do what you have to. But I won't tolerate you getting the rest of us involved in it again. Do I make myself clear? Ooh. You've got it. Good. Now, let's get back to the Therian hunt. We'll regroup in Titania. Huh. Weird. Very strange. If what Aizen said is true, then could I wind up as a dragon someday? It's the dream, isn't it, buddy? Or Aizen, too. I don't... I don't know. It's like everybody's dream. Why why are you making it sound like such a somber and sad thing? Like that's that's the dream. I I'd love to be a, a dragon. Come on, let's do it right now. Dragon. I mean, pretty sure most people would agree. I wonder if I can run these things over. Let's try it. Oh, I gotta find that stupid thing, don't I? Is it gonna show on the map? Oh, we're gonna go back to Port Zex. Ah, you know, let's just roam around. Maybe we can find the weird spirit tree. Uh, probably not, but maybe. I I wish there was some way that we could like see it on the map or something. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a downer not really being able to know. And while it's fairly obvious, it's not the most obvious of things. You're giving me a headache. Oh man, those things are right on my, my tail. I don't even have a tail. I got an iron fist. That's probably pretty impressive. I won't run away. Well, I guess I'm gonna fight a bush ape. Alright, let's just... They're mildly impressive! Or whatever level they are. What level are you? 31? I mean... Did we ever go inside did Logris yet? Yeah, you did okay, kid. Oh, 
Well, like, I I'm thrilled that we have this board, but I think... Well, me personally, I feel it's kind of stupid that you have to go find something in order to make it work. To me, that kind of defeats kind of the point of the whole kind of scenario. And this leads to the... Huh, not where I thought. Oh, giddy. We upset some more stuff. Fantastic. Oh, I trapped myself in here. Sort of. No, not really. I definitely think it's, I think it should be something that gets marked on our our list. Hundred percent. Of like things that are on the map, it should be absolutely visible and available on the map. Should be able to see it without problem. Oh, can't go up that way either. Jeez, nothing's working out. Where does this take me? Well, you know what, guys and gals, it's been a while. Let's just kind of roam around a bit, see if we can't find the thing that we're looking for. I mean, maybe it is marked somewhere on the map. Because I would uh, much rather find these places so we can move around a little bit quicker if we ever do have to come back to them than to just ignore them and not do anything. So, that's going to be the plan moving forward. I know it's probably going to be a little bit of a waste, but so be with it. I'm trying to notice if there's any, any little indicator. Like, you can see it out in the distance somewhere. And sadly, I just I don't see it. Huh. Well, they gave us a cool new thing and then they took it away immediately. I'm a little bit bummed out by that. I'm not going to lie. That does make me a little bit sad. Come on, man. It should exist. Oh, uh, I saw, I saw the water was like discolored slightly there, and I'm like, oh, is that it right there? That's not it. Oh, this this sucks. Now I kind of want to just go to every place and find these stupid little board points or whatever you want to call them. There's really no point. Because, like I said, the 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 amount that you get sped up is so small I I suppose it's not even worth like looking for these things and yet you know everybody's going to uh, I'll just annihilate some pixies but why not there we go Woo. Not heard we got like no experience. Well, I mean, I feel bad, but gotta say it's it's a pretty pretty crappy scenario. Like, why did they have to add that stipulation that you have to find these access things, these spirit trees, or whatever? couldn't be like, hey, we found this board, it's now activatable. Now you're going to find the geo symbol thing that goes underground and only the... Yeah. Oh, really? Really? That's 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 what we need to find. Well, look, we could jump across this if we had that. Ugh. Ah. 
Oh, I hate it. I hate it so very, 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 very much. Alright, I don't care anymore. Let's just get me out of here. I just do not like any of this. Is it hot or is it just me? Well, that's pretty vain and arrogant, isn't it, my dear? A little bit. A bit of arrogantly vainness, if I do say so myself. Come on, really? Alright, well, onward we go. Maybe we'll find it on our way back. Maybe we should just not look for it and it'll eventually just lead me to the place. I mean, probably not, but maybe. Whatever. Like I said, we'll just do what we got to do and then hopefully things will work out. And hopefully all the... All the places eventually do have those geo points, so we can actually use this board more than in one spot. I'm looking, I'm not seeing anything that even... Oh wait, it is on the map, look at that. Does it show up on the map for me? No, but it shows up on the little radar on the top left. Okay, well that's good. So you can actually go into an area and phase in immediately now. Alright, so that makes it a little bit better. I was pretty grumbly about all this, but this does improve it significantly. Yay! I'm gonna try running you down. It did not work. Apparently we're not significantly stronger than these guys. Where am I going? You're the only one that ran away, huh? Come on. We can do it. There it is. I hate when I get slightly out of sync and we lose that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cares. Wait, that was an herb. Let's back up and running. If you'll excuse me. It was not an herb, I was completely wrong. Well, whatever. We got ourselves the first thing of the oh the turtles is here. Turtles, turtles, keeping tight circles. Oh, perfect timing, Eisen. I's got a letter for you. A letter. Did you get a reply to that letter you sent? What's it say? What's it say? I know everything that you've done. Repent for your horrendous deeds, you monster. Nice. What did you do, Eisen? Uh. No idea. There's no sender written on here either. Who would write something so awful? Who cares? If I gave a damn about other people's feelings, I wouldn't be a pirate. Uh. I suppose that's true. Forget about it. What's the status of the other stuff? The Palmier made it just fine, but uh, we've run into some troubles finding the Nordals. My deepest apologies. What are Nordals? Nordals used to be given out by Empyrean temples. If you collect a set of four, you find happiness. Oh, so they say. Huh. Nowadays, there's only four left. Red, blue, green, and black. Even worse, nobody hardly knows nothing about them. Dolls of the Empyreans? Do you think they're like that one we saw of Aminoch in that shop in Isolt? Kind of. But these are less gloomy looking and more, uh... Hmm... How can I describe it? Something like a quiet radiance? A quiet radiance? <laughs> That's perfect! Well, there we go. I... think I get it. I'd never have pegged you as a collector of religious claptrap, Eisen. Think yeah. he'll help keep Clap the trap. Reaper away? Probably not. But in the off chance they actually work, they'll keep her safe. Huh. Hey, that letter Eisen sent off earlier was addressed to a woman, wasn't it? <laughs> Our little Lafayette is growing up. N yeah. No, 
I wasn't implying she was his girlfriend. Her writing just seemed more mature, and... Oh, boy. Maybe stop talking. It's nothing like that. She's my younger sister. I didn't know you had a sister. She's the only family I have left. She and I live apart for various reasons. I'm guessing your death curse is one of them, huh? Yeah. Well, she's not wrong. So that's why. I'd be happy to help you look for those dolls, Aizen. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Thanks. Oh boy, cats I saw Benwick or and dogs? The other crew members get into a serious fight over whether cats or dogs were better. I don't get what the big deal is. Dogs, 100%. I can't believe you could say such a thing. No conflict is more perilous than the one that has dogged mankind since the dawn of civilization. <laughs> In the shadow of every war are the battles of dog lovers and cat lovers. Between each side lies a divide. Maybe not all that deep, but unbridgeable all the same. I'd say we're lucky that the squabble you saw didn't escalate into anything more serious. I had no idea it was such a big deal. Eh. So what side do all of you fall on? Oh boy. I am, without a doubt, a cat. Oh. Cats and witches have a long history together. Oh, Moggy Lou, Personally, you just broke my heart. I prefer dogs because they can cohabit with humans while following rules. But I like cats too, because they're cute. Mm. What about you, Rokuro? Sigure liked cats, so I don't. But I like dogs even less. Always wagging their tails for their masters. <laughs> I feel the same way. Dogs will trade anything for food. What? Learning tricks, wagging their tails, getting friendly. And in time, even forgetting to howl. I think that's too cynical. Dogs make efforts to please humans so that we can live together. They're friendly and compassionate creatures. Then does that make you a cat person, Aizen? Actually, I like squirrels best. Squirrels? When I lived with my sister, the nearby forest had lots of nice, fluffy squirrels that would let me pet them. This isn't about squirrels. It's about cats and dogs. You have to pick a side. If I had to choose, yeah, it'd be cats. Well, it's no There's surprise. There's lovable about the way they act, especially when you spoil them. It reminds me a lot of my sister. What about you, Velvet? Cats Redeem or dogs? Redeem yourself, Velvet. Dogs. They don't betray Yeah. Them. You always have to be so serious, don't you? Thank you, so Velvet. So Velvet and Eleanor like dogs, while Mogilu and Aizen prefer cats. And Rokuro doesn't care for either one. That makes you our tiebreaker, kiddo. The fate of this showdown is in your hands. It is? Now that you're no longer the Abbey's dog, perhaps you're thinking of being one for Velvet's column? What has that got to do with anything? We're just talking about which animal we like. If you're getting so angry over this, he's going to have no choice but to pick dogs. Yeah. I just told you. No more fighting! Yeah. It's clearly getting out of hand. So why don't you all agree that you're Bienfu people and make up already? There you go. And what makes you special enough to have Bienfu people? Because I can be loyal like a dog, but also do my own thing like a cat. If you pick me, everybody wins. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think it works that way. Oh, he didn't even pick. Well, we already know this game definitely sides with cats over dogs. I mean, they have cats orbs and little cats creatures walking around all over the place. So, yeah, no surprise. Oh, good. All right, I, I I've re redacted my complaints about this ridiculous uh, board thing that we have. All right, let's get out of here. You kids in your hoverboard, where's Marty McFly? Alright. And down the stairs, around the box, and hello. Ha! You're all back safe and sound. I knew Velvet would come out on top. It's kind of what we do. Back to Titania. The fort. That's also our secret layer slash base thing. I'm just gonna avoid the whale. Nope, right over the whale. Oh, we're dead. We just got murdered by a giant whale. It's fine. I guess a dragon was a bit much to take on, even for the Reaper. You should get some rest. We all should. 
I'll just get the crew started on readying the ship for our next departure. All right, you go do that. Luffy said, you should get some rest too. I'm fine. It's more important that I focus on finding an actual Therian this time. I'm going to take another try at sensing the Earth Pulse points. <sighs> <sighs> Wow. You're as stubborn as ever, Fee. You're as stubborn as ever, Fee. What you doing? I've become an old man. What are you doing? Who's been sneaking drinks from my emergency stores? I won't yell at you, so just be honest. You say you won't yell, but we know you will. I promise I won't. I just want to know the truth. Nope. You're going to yell once you know who it was. I'm positive. I said I'm not going to yell. Oh, trust me, you will. If I say I'm not going to yell, I'm not going to yell. Put the wax out of your ears and listen. See, you're yelling already. I'm glad I didn't tell you I did it. Awkward. It's a little bit awkward. Do we really have to go down to the Earth Pulse points? Uh, oh, we got to rest for a while. Huh, fantastic. Well, everybody's here. Let's talk to him. What's up, guy? Totally forgot what your name is. Benwick. There we go. You ought to listen to the skipper and the rest and rest up. Don't worry. We'll take care of the ship. Rokuru. You're looking for Lafayette? I saw him heading down to the lower cells earlier. Eleanor, when Malakim are tainted by human generated malevolence, they are transformed into dragons. The exorcists use Malakim. How could they be unaware of such a thing? If Lord Artorius knows. Why would he keep it a secret? Because our expedition just came in. So we'll end on uh, some really, 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 really powerful words of wisdom. And we will... Does that say Hawk Roach? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go and talk to the one, the only, Magilu. It's time I got a little shut-eye, too. The Enfu gave me the usual lullaby suite, so I can sleep like a babe. The end. Do I have to sing for three hours straight every night? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to check our thing and go to sleep. Well, we're not going to go to sleep, but we're going to call it a close. Perfection. We leveled up again. And uh, we didn't really gain anything new, so we're going to continue to search. All right, folks, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will go find out what Luffy Set's doing, or we'll go take a nap, and then we'll wake up refreshed and ready to go and take on the world. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>